This video explains how to select the charge profile or algorithm on a Delta Q quick charger made specifically for JLG machines. To check the default charge profile, make sure the charger is disconnected from AC power. First remove the positive lead from the batteries using an insulated wrench. Unscrew the positive lead from the rain terminal and keep that lead away from any other contact points. Connect AC power to the charger and let the charger go through its startup sequence. The default charge profile currently is number 42, as indicated by the number of consecutive flashes followed by a pause. This will occur for an 11 second window. After 11 seconds, the red fault light will begin to blink. The next section explains how to change the default charge profile. To change the default charge profile, make sure you start off with the positive lead disconnected from the batteries. First, connect AC power to the charger. When the charge profile is displayed, hold the positive lead against the positive rain terminal for 3 seconds. Charge profile number 43 is now displayed. This is indicated by the number of flashes, followed by a pause, then more flashes. To progress to the next charge profile, Again, tap the positive lead against the positive rain terminal for 3 seconds. Charge profile number 73 is now displayed. To select number 73, hold the positive lead against the positive rain terminal for 10 seconds until you hear an audible click from the relay. The charger will then resume normal operation. At this point, you can unplug the charger from AC power. To verify the charge profile, remove the positive lead from the batteries and reattach AC power. Observe the number of flashes to confirm the charge profile number. You've now successfully changed the charge profile on a Delta Q quick charger made for JLG. Congratulations! If you need further support resources, please visit delta-q.com.